All right, tonight we have a new uh, Harry Potter game. Um, it's called Harry Potter Puzzles and Spells. And so this is made by Zynga, same people that made Candy Crush, I believe, and some other uh, Match 3 games. It's definitely a Match 3 game, so if you're into Match 3, uh, you're probably going to have a hard time finding a game, um, at least so far, as put together as this one. So this is kind of a first look. I just started picking it up tonight, um, but definitely a Match 3 type game in the Harry Potter universe. I can hear the guy in the background talking there. I did turn off the music. It's like an official game, has the official Harry Potter music and all that stuff in it. I turned that off so it wouldn't get demonetized. I don't think I'm even monetized yet, but uh, either way, no, no need to get flagged, right? Just because we're doing a game review. Plenty of courage. So this guy likes to talk. And I will say the graphics in this game are really... You can tell they put a lot of thought into it, and they, um, they really kind of... Spent a lot of time making sure it looks like Harry Potter. Like, this feels like a game, like, I'm a Harry Potter fan. This feels like a game I would play kind of in the world of Harry Potter. So let's take a quick look uh, at the game itself. We have a shop, and these are going to be your general power-ups and things like that. Um, you know, clearing lines vertically. These keys kind of do magical things where they'll, they'll kind of attack the thing you need to get the most. Um, this will delete all of a certain color. So different power-ups, things like that. Looks like they've got quite a range of them. The gold actually works on that screen I was just on. Um, this screen where you can collect uh, albums, which then unlock you uh, characters. So I've actually got one ready to unlock. So let's take a look at that. This is a pack, so you tap it and you open it. So I got a common card there, another common card there, and a remember all. So let's see, I had two duplicates and a new one. Hopefully that means I unlocked, yeah, so it means I unlocked this guy. I'm going to claim the Natterjack Toad. And so as you play the game, you can collect different characters that will give you different boosts. So in this case, if you get a one win streak, you get this bonus thing. When you start the match, this will give you on your second and your third, and you can change these out. I actually haven't um, switched them out yet. Let me see if there's a way to do that. Looks like he's already selected here, maybe when you go in. We'll check that out in a minute. Uh, they have your, your daily login stuff, uh, typical stuff here. Looks like if you reach level 60, which I'm two away from. I've been playing maybe two hours so far, three hours. Uh, enough to run out my battery. And then you have a, like a guild system. Uh, I just created a temporary one to see what that looked like, um, up to no good. And um, you can see there's plenty of people already playing. It looks like you get daily bonuses, things like that. You can ask for lives. Kind of a neat thing if you have, you know, if you don't really have a lot of people in your friend group playing it. Uh, you got a mailbox where they kind of gave you just an update when I created a guild and then um, your kind of a welcome message, I guess that was. Um, what else we got here? We have events. So I've already done most of my events for today. It looks like they'll have like a daily quest type thing for these gold things, which you can then use to continue games, buy power-ups. You can also use them in that little shop we showed you a few minutes ago, as well as unlocking packs. And these seem to pop up um, every on some interval. Looks like this one's up for another four hours. Um, but there's little one-offs to give you kind of something to keep you playing uh, in between that. Uh, you do have a profile, so you have an avatar. Uh, as you can tell, it looks just like me. I spent hours on it. Uh, but it's pretty robust. It does have kind of a nice collection of hairstyles uh, and characters to pick from. You can, you know, you can do green hair if you want to. Um, it's pretty, it's, like I said, it's got a nice selection of, you know, this is just starting out. If you want the Harry Potter glasses, you can rock those. Uh, Mad Eye Moody, there you go. So I'm going glassless for now, but pretty, pretty nice little avatar maker. You can also pick your wand, which is pretty cool. And then you can, it doesn't pick for you, but it lets you pick um, which of the houses you want to be in. So I picked Ravenclaw. I figured everybody picked Gryffindor, so I tried to be a little bit different. It does have stats, um, how many lives you sent. These are just kind of overall um, you know, things you can keep track of. I don't know if that's of any major use. And then as you play, you'll unlock new spells, and the spells are used within the levels themselves. So as you go into a new level, it will tell you this spell's being used, and then there's certain things you'll have to, um, you'll have to match in a row to get those going. All right, so enough of this. Let's jump into a game and show you what it looks like. I'm on Pizzle 58. And you can see which power-ups, if you want to select these, you can. You can see there's going to be a goal to shatter these items. So it's sort of like they'll be, I think, fully, and then you crack them and then crack them again to get rid of them. The hatch, you'll have to get to the bottom, and then you'll just have to make matches next to these uh, Platform 9 cards to move forward. 
So I will say the, like I said, the graphics, the animation, the sound, um, you can see my pet jumps up here. So he's being charged. So for every level or every power up you use per level, you get one of these. And if you fail a level, you lose this. So it's something you want to keep an eye on. I tend to use them quickly because I don't want to lose them basically. Um, but yeah, so let's jump into a match three. It's always fun playing match three with people watching over your shoulder. So I'm sure you'll see a ton of moves I'm missing, um, but we'll see what goes on there. So you can see in the background, the white things are the, the glass things I need to crack. You can see there's a lot of explosions and cool stuff happening on. Like I said, really, really well done. Like as far as match three games go, and I don't play a lot of them. I play, you know, a couple here and there just testing out games. This has been one that's kind of grabbed my attention in terms of just having... Um, a nice selection of animations and the music and you know I like Harry Potter so you have like the world building on top of it really well done and you can tell that they've taken care um, with the IP which is good I think the the Hogwarts mystery I can't remember the name of it it was sort of a I don't know like an adventure game I was really disappointed with that game when it came out didn't think it was fun um, I thought the energy system on it was awful um, I mean, you know, after you play this for a while, if it follows the same thing as Candy Crush, eventually there'll be levels you'll just be absolutely stuck on. Um, but that's the nature of these games, right? Um, they want you to buy power-ups and use things to get past the levels. Looks like I'm missing some very obvious ones here. After all those explosions early on, I really went downhill quickly here. I need matches next to these to clear those out. So one thing I can do is I can use this power-up here if I want to clear out that row. Click on that, and there's your wand, and there goes that whole row. It does not look like it actually cleared these, which is interesting. I'm going to use these, so it'll blow up and then drop and then blow up again. There we go. Uh, we're getting a little bit closer. We're getting a little low on moves. So yeah, I like I like this too, where it shows you exactly what you have left, so you can keep tabs on what you need to do the, to complete the level. Um, let's see. Let's do this guy. Been better if that was a vertical, I think. Uh, all right, here we go. Here we go. So one thing I think is pretty cool about this, and it may be like this in others in other games uh, in this category, is you can either click this or drag it. I didn't know if that was always the case with these games, but it is a nice benefit to be able to do that. And there we go. We're going to clear the level. So again, I was looking through, and I'll show you this in a minute. Um, they have like a map when you go into it where you can actually see. Um, this will keep going for a few minutes. We'll click and get past that. There we go. We got the characters from the movie, Dumbledore, um, you know, pops up here and there, Harry Potter, the kids uh, from the classes, Ron and Hermione, all those guys will show up, which is pretty cool. That was my goggle. Um, so I'm 59. So let's try to unlock the owl real quick since we're here and we'll see what happens with that. Uh, puzzle 59. So since the frog, again, was my character, you can see I got these bonuses to start. I got this side-to-side -side thingy, and I got this key. And the key tends to to not to hit things that you need help with completing. So for this, I'm just going to go ahead and click this and open this up. You can see we have chocolate frogs. This is kind of, again, kind of a new twist on this kind of a game. Uh, the chocolate frogs will move a space each time, or will move around the board. So you'll have to, you'll have to break um, items next to the frog to get them off your board. Uh, there we go. So and so this is this is getting to be quite a mix of things. These brown items here are um, items that you need to clear out of the way by breaking again three in a row next to them. So these are kind of annoying sometimes because you'll actually have a power up you want to use and they'll jump on the power up and you can't use it. Um, so you kind of have to keep an eye on that. <clears throat> but you can drag these and hit them from a distance, which is pretty cool. Let's see where he hops to. Okay, so now I want to hold on to this because I can't do anything with that just yet. Uh, let's do this. There we go. All right, so he's right below me. So I hit the frog. That was a good move there. I got some nice hits. So you can see the frog in that case jumped right on top of it. So um, took me down a lot. <clears throat> there we go. So there goes that frog. And again, the animation is just fantastic. Really well done. Um, the sounds, everything. And with the Harry Potter music playing, it really, really takes it to another level. Um, I just, again, don't want to have that music on for the video. Let's do this, see what happens. Alright, so we need to have two frogs left, and we have uh, two things we need to break. 
All right, so this power-up's ready. So I have not used him yet. I don't actually know what it does. Um, tap any gem to summon your creature there. Well, you know what? I want to hold off on him. Let's not do that yet. You know, I don't think I'm going to need him. There we go. There we go. A little fireworks explosion. We'll skip past this. I was trying to show you the um, the map, because I thought that was pretty neat. This is Puzzle 60. This will be the one for the owl. Um, hmm. Where is the map at? I don't see it. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Well, let's do one more thing. All right, level 60. Let's see if we can get it. Unlock the snowy owl. And to start, let's just pop that open. So these crystals are the items you need to cast spells. So this level will have a spell that we'll be able to cast. We also have Hagrid jumping in to help. That was from clearing, um, I forget which item it was, but there's an item that Hagrid specifically responds to. Or maybe it was the crystals for him this round. I can't remember which. Uh, let's do this. There we go. So again, um, if you're a Harry Potter fan, if you're into like these types of games, can't recommend it enough. It's really well done. It's really well thought out. Um, I've not felt like it's huge cash grabby type things. Okay, so I've unlocked 35 of these. Now I can cast a spell. This is going to open this chest, which is just a reward at the end of the level. There we go, and a key. So the key, if I use this, if I just click it, you'll see it'll hit this bottom on and it'll hit another one for me. Let's bring out the frog and see what he does. There we go. So he cleared a few items there for me. And so he'll be reset now. I'll have to wait to use him again uh, at a later time. Um, let's clear this item here. Just throw here. Um, let's see what we got. That was wicked. Let's do this. Maybe we'll get a lot of stuff here. Here we go. All right, there we go. So again, level 60, um, pretty straightforward gameplay, nothing too complicated. Um, you can actually tell them if you like the puzzle or not. Here's the chest I unlocked when I was playing. So we'll collect that gold. And there we go. So there we go. There's an example of the of the game. Um, you've also got this is actually the levels here. So each of the levels represents a part of the Harry Potter story. So this is in the Philosopher's Stone. Um, I'm on the Sorting Hat, but as you see, it just goes on and on the Grand Staircase. And all of the, so far, all the missions have had different backgrounds. There's different animations when you go into a zone. Um, Here's one of the animations here. So they've each each individual part of the book that they have there has got that different animation. Let's go into this one at Hogwarts if it'll let me. Huh, I guess you can't go back. That's interesting. But you can go into the one you're in. So anyways, all the ones prior to this, though, had a really nice animation like this uh, that fit the story. It's kind of weird you can't go back like that. Maybe that's something they'll work on later. Um, other than that, that is the game. I just wanted to do a quick video. I, I played it for a couple hours tonight. I thought it was really, really well done. Uh, well worth your time to check out. Give it a game. Give it a go. Again, it's called um, Harry Potter uh, Puzzles and Spells. Again, it's by Zynga. It's in the uh, Google Play Store. I have not looked to see if it was in the iOS Store, but if it's there, I will put a link down below. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Go check it out. Let me know what cool stuff you find when you're playing a game, um, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.